What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Training with Bill. So this is my seven week post shoulder surgery update. In case you're new to the channel, I had shoulder surgery on my left shoulder seven weeks ago um, due to a tear in the labrum. So I had that all fixed up, stitched up, um, and it's been seven weeks now. So last week I went and seen the surgeon for my six week uh, update. Um, everything's traveling fine. He was happy with the amount of progress that I've made so far. So as you can tell, I'm not wearing a sling at the moment. I no longer have to wear my sling, which is a very, very uh, important part of the progress because I really hated that sling. That sling actually causes pain after having it in there for so long. Um, your shoulder freezes up. You get a lot of knots in the back of your shoulder. Um, it causes pain to your neck as well, simply because it's always stuck like this the whole time and it builds up a lot of pressure on the back of your shoulder. So I'm really happy to have that sling done and dusted um, and now I can actually drive so technically legally I'm allowed to drive now however I still have a limited range of motion and a lot of weakness in my arm so with regards to the limited range of motion with my right arm which is a good arm I can lift that up nice and easy the left arm as I come up to about here um, it uh, seems to just seize up and locks up and it starts to cause a lot of pain in the shoulder so that is as far as I can get show you guys on the side view so that's as far as I can get it's not even at 90 degrees yet so basically just up to there that's as far as I can get guys without starting pain even out to the side it's around about the same before the pain kicks in and it just starts to bite on it's really really tight in there um, and I've got no strength in that left arm so that left arm it gets very fatigued very very quickly um, even though I'm not doing anything at the moment but even just the slight movements of just lifting up my arm where it is right now, just like that, it causes a lot of fatigueness. So um, that's something that's obviously gonna have to work on in time um, with regards to physiotherapy once I start that. So like I said, it's still painful, my shoulder to move it now. I've got a limited range of motion and the pain isn't just a pain when I move my arm around. Um, it, I'll show you guys what I mean. So my shoulder feels like it's almost rolled forward always now um, compared to my right shoulder. So the right shoulder seems to be sitting back nice and comfortable. The left shoulder seems to be slouching forward a lot more. As I pull my shoulder back to sit in the, in the proper position, it clicks and grinds still. So I don't know if that's something that physical therapy is going to actually improve on. I'm pretty sure it will, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, so as I pull that back, it just continuously clicks, clicks, clicks so hopefully that's going to go away um, and my arm is a lot smaller so as you can tell this is my left arm the one that's obviously been in a sling for seven weeks it's a lot smaller than my right arm and I'm looking forward to kind of fixing that imbalance in my arms so like I said all in all I'm traveling pretty good at the moment a thing that I am very very impressed with is the healing on my incision so it's almost very very hard to see I'll just see it's right there very, very hard to even find that incision now. So the front side has healed up very, very nicely, which I'm happy with. I really was worried about having some bad scarring here. On the back, it's a bit worse. So you can see that's the incision on the back. It still has a little scab that hasn't completely healed off um, on the back, but hopefully that should go as well. But that's the worst one so far. So that back one is probably the worst. Um, initially, when I had this scarring here on the front, it felt like it was almost um, getting ready to keloid. It was kind of swollen and lumped up. Um, so I was expecting a keloid to develop there. However, that's actually disappeared, which is a nice new bonus. Um, I didn't want another problem in there. So that's good that this one here is healed up perfectly. Um, like I said, I get pain in my shoulder as I roll it forward and back. Um, hopefully I'll be starting physio next week, I'm hoping. And what we're gonna be doing is basically some stretching. So. I think for the first six weeks, it's all passive exercises, which means it's assisted. So anytime I'm moving my arm up, it's basically been assisted with either my right arm with a set of pulleys. Um, so I'll try and take the camera in with me to the physio. Hopefully he'll be all right with that. And I'll show you guys what kind of exercises and things we're doing there um, so that you guys know exactly what to expect. The only thing that I've really done so far is been using a pulley. So the physio has given me a pulley um, to be able to do some exercises at home, basically just to increase the mobility in my shoulder and also get that stretch um, because after it was stitched up, everything just kind of stays where it is and it's a bit seized. So I'll show you guys now what that pulley system looks like. So this here is the pulley system that I was talking about, guys. It's got a little rubber coating on the top. Um, it's got the pulley and it's got two little handles on a drawstring. So this thing here, it costs about $15 if you wanted to pick one up online. Um, and what you do with this is you slot it in the top of the doorway between the door and the door jam. Close that door. 
and then that locks into position. Once it's locked in, we can now use these handles and that's how we're gonna be doing those passive exercises. So um, just basically assisting my left arm to try and stretch that arm um, and get the mobility back in there. And all we do is just pull down with the right arm and that'll pull up my left arm. So it still hurts as I go up. However, if I did try and engage my muscles and try and lift my arm, there's no way I'd be able to get it up this far. So just passive exercises lifting that all the way up. You can do a few different movements with this. You can go behind your back in a few other ways, but as far as I've been told, um, I'm only allowed to go forward direction for now. Um, so we're just trying to stretch that arm and really get that mobility back in the left shoulder. So there you have it guys, that is my seven week post shoulder surgery update. Um, so far so good, I'm happy with the progress so far, especially because a lot of the videos that I watched before having my surgery scared the crap out of me. A lot of people were at the 16 week mark and were struggling to basically lift their arm up just like that. So they were pretty impressed with that kind of um, recovery at the 16 week mark. However, I feel as though I've progressed a lot more than that and that is a big, big bonus. So I'm really looking forward to getting back out, getting more active, hopefully a lot more videos coming up. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Training with Bill.